you see that? A green hornet. Yes. You are already one behind. And he plays the board. One behind. It is like its own country up here. But uh, anyway, Jeremy just caught one. Um, right with uh, one of the Uper guys. That's a pretty good sign. We didn't see that fish here yesterday. So there, I think there's more moving in. Um, they are so aggressive. You just threw it over there past him and he just charged off the bed and ate it. Yeah. And with everybody standing around. Right. The problem is just getting to him with the waves and then being able to to see, you know, these dark spots. But if they're fired up like that, you don't have to you don't have to get that close. No, you don't Let's have go that to be way. perfect. What right. I'm thinking is we're going straight to the juice hole. We might we might catch a hundred and fifty within like think today yeah, thirty minutes. Kind of day. I, I think we, so. we have a very late start. I mean it's almost noon. I don't feel like this is a hundred kind of day. No. I don't think Not so. with the wind. Yeah. It's almost noon. If it would ever slick off, yeah, dude, you guys, we, we would <laughs> see we so do? many fish. It would be silly. It's just the fact that the lens falling. You can't can't see them all. But it's pretty much just sight fishing. You have to have a drop shot, though. This is key to catching these fish. Kind of it keeps one, the bait above the bed and in their face. And it also allows you to keep your bait in the general area with that weight on the bottom. So we're using a quarter ounce and the, the beds are going to be deeper than what they look like. You know, you think it's two feet down, but it's actually four or five feet. So having that drop shot allows you to keep your bait in place, maintain contact with the bottom. And I'm throwing this with six pound fluorocarbon as a leader. So that's six pound GS fluoro. And I've got that on 15 pound uh, braided line. So I've got 15 pound braided line with about a seven foot 100% uh, fluorocarbon leader and then I've got that Texas shot which we showed you all uh, a little earlier so that hook is Texposed in there and that's on our finesse light rod so this is the rod that you want to drop shot with so perfect setup now I just need to get it bent. amount of current here. I guess where the wind is blowing on the main lake, it's pulling all the water out of this bay. It's weird how that looks like but We're going to see if we can't find something offshore 
This big flat runs all the way halfway to the middle of this bay, but so far all we're seeing is sand. So we're utilizing this high-tech device here. <laughs> you don't need live scope you when you got scope. live scope, you, you know what I'm saying? Swimming goggles. Yeah, I am live scope. Let's do it. The yeah, either side. A little bit of shell, but mostly sand. <laughs> mostly sand? Yep. Uh, just a few little shell pods. <laughs> That's it. I think they're, uh, they're little white clammies, whatever that kind of species is. They're about a quarter inch long. Gotcha. No purple. small mouth. We got our, we got our Rackley scope going. Yeah. Yeah, no, no, small no need for live scope when you got rack scope. Let me, let me give it one more shot. <laughs> yep. What we got now? <laughs> Swallowed a little bit. <laughs> uh, so, uh, water temperature is about 62. <clears throat> a lot of alkalinity. Uh, I, don't, I don't think there's <laughs> here. <laughs> Here we go, right here. Now look. Yep. Yep. You got it? It was a tension. Saw a little bit of rock. <laughs> Bunch of vegetation right here. Oh yeah. Look at that. I'm looking for perch. <laughs> we need there's fish right there under the boat. You see it? Someone might be coming out of the boat today. I'm thinking it might be Matt. We've got extreme wind. Uh, this is supposedly our windiest day. Have y'all noticed what's And it shifts. It wind's shifted. It's blowing this way, but we're going that way. At a... What the? <laughs> you notice it? Wait. The, uh, the water's sucking out of the bay, but there's still waves coming in to the bay. And the wind is blowing us in. But it's like we're not moving right now. There's an underwater current that's pushing us back. How are these fish even going to spawn? I just can't, I can't successfully throw a drop shot. All these spots, you got the bow and the line, you can't feel, you know, the wind's literally just pushing your bait. So I'm going to a spinner bait, which I'm not mad at a spinner bait bite. You know, when three or four pounds fall out, hits a spinner bait, it's, it's a magical moment too. We're just having to adapt to this wind. It's the only day we're gonna have extreme wind, so. These fish are still wanting to be in here, apparently. We just gotta adapt to catching them a different way. And a spinner bait or a moving bait, you really don't have to feel, you know? You're just reeling and they connect onto it. They set the hook into themselves, so. It's really the best way to fish when it's really windy. Plus, uh, there's something about a spinner bait in the wind that they really like the the attraction of the blades a lot of bait fish are stirred up so we're just going to give it a little little spinner bait angle here Let's see if we can get a few a uh, few of these bass that are still in here but we can't catch them on the drop shots they barely stand oh gosh do you see that one They do not give up. So angry. First boat fish. They like it. Oh, they're just crushing this spinner bait. They're all pretty good ones that are good. Look how clean that fish looks, Justin. I mean, just clean. Oh, double tap. Woo, that's a good one. Oh, oh that was a hammer. 
Got me hung up to read. There we go. Oh, goodness gracious. First, but first bass in the boat for me. Little male guy there. Going back. Still seeing a lot of beds. Like they look like potholes. And then I've had fish swirl come up on the spinner beds. First one I've had actually eat it, but it's just too hard to get the drop shot in there. By the time you get it ready, going, you've already drifted 20, 30 yards away. And there's just too much bow in your line, you can't feel anything. So I think this is probably gonna be the best solution for trying to still catch these fish on this uh, this flat out here. Amazingly, they're still up here trying to do some spawning, but they're about to have the water sucked out from underneath them with these waves. It's crazy. Oh, got one on it. Oh jeez. Dude, they're loaded on this drop. Oh man, he followed it in. Oh gosh, smash! Oh yeah, baby. Smashed. Heads up, bringing them in. Come here, baby. He wasn't out here on the bed, he was just out here on into that rock. I think rock. so, little Peter. I don't know if I can swim with him. Ah, it's hard landing him in these waves. There you go, buddy. The three little dots on the side. Look at that. It's a nice fish. See ya. This is what a smallmouth does to a spinnerbait. Just mangle them. Well, we're outside the area we were fishing yesterday. There's a lot of reeds and sand in about another hundred yards. So out here is just kind of scattered gravel. And you can see the gravel, the water's pretty clear. Even with the wind, you can see where the sun's hitting at those lighter spots. Every one of these fish are coming off those light spots, which is just a, a different, just a change in the bottom composition. And it's a little bit bigger gravel. They're crushing a spinnerbait. the whole way. I kept flaring it and finally you hit it. Well, it's just pausing it, which just lets that skirt Whoa. start flaring a little bit. I just done that all the way in. He kept falling. I could see him. He hit it way out there before I could see him. Look how fat. Definitely pre-spawn. And they just destroy these spinner bits. Go right there behind me. I had one just crush it right there. I'm gonna have to put a trailer hook on. You know what I think? You, oh, look at him following him. You know what I think you need to do with that? Oh, got him on mine. There he is. He hit it. He hit it on the swim bait. Just followed Jeremy up uh, on a spinner bait with a little saucy swimmer. I think if we had a three quarter ounce spinnerbait and burn it, oh yeah, I think they hit it better. Well, also I think uh, we're just getting too good of a look at I it. I think you need a bigger bait. There we go. A little saucy down the hatch. Look how fat that fish is. That's got to be a pre-spawn fish. Beauty. Love you. See ya. I seriously think they're eating bigger perch. I think this, yeah, this is a different program than what we saw yesterday. These are, these are out here feeding on this point, and um, they should be crushing that thing. Yeah, they That's should be. Normally, like a 3.3 .3 inches. Right. That's 
mostly what I brought. I have some 3.8s I might try. But uh, they're liking that spinnerbait flash. It's just they're seeing it for a while. So you're having to get them to react to it, make the skirt flare, everything like that. But um, you know, these are just little fishing tweaks that we can figure out to get these fish dialed in to hit it good every time. But hey, we're putting something together here in the wind. I didn't think it was going to be uh, very promising when we first pulled up. We we're literally just rocking in the waves. But if we can do this pattern, we can make it a successful day. Oh, he broke me off. Yes. Broke you off. Oh, oh look here. Oh, dude. Sorry, you best not keep me out the water. Oh, double? Yeah. Oh, I think you got a bigger one. I think so. We really had a triple. I know. Freaking broke me off right there. Oh, they are up there. I got a pike. I was wondering when we were going to get a pike. There's the old long one. Whew. Do not want to stick your fingers in there. These usually live in the grassy areas, and we just backed up to a reed patch, and there he was. Fun fight. I like catching these, actually. Wow. There was one. Did you see him just freaking yeah. come up and Dude, there's so many fish in here. It's insane. Oh, God. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Man. Do I need? I might need some. solid fish right there. Look how small their mouth is and how big their body is. It's just so incredible. These fish are spawning. These ones right here are spawning. The ones we first started catching, they were not spawning. They were feeding now that we've come up into this cove where the reeds are. Anytime we find the reeds. Got I got one! Matt's hooked up! I yes! Got one. There's one! Get him up! Oh dude, that's a big one. That's a small mouth? Holy shit, this is a big one. For real. Get him up, get him up, get him up. Oh, he's got me in there. Get him up, get him up, get him up. He's got me in here. Dude, if that's not a pike, it's a huge smallmouth. He's got me, he's got me trapped. Get him up, dude. Yeah, him up. I'll get you okay. That's a big one, dude. Don't fall out of the boat. That's a five pounder. There you go, now you should be able to get him up. There he is. Oh, it is a big one. Woo! Oh, yeah. Oh. He's not ready. You're going to have to back up over there just a little bit. This is not going to be easy. Can what you hold we... the boat? Because <laughs> I mean, like, I am. Gonna find your... All right, hold on. He's got to be worn down. What do you mean? He's doing it. Not fall in. I not fall in and bring him over here. Dude. Yes, oh, baby! Oh, 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 oh. That's a yes. giant! Dude, that's your pee baby yes. right there. That's your pee baby. Look at that. Look at this baby. Look at this. Is... Oh, that's awesome. Let me get oh, rid of my oh my gosh. gosh. That's a freaking hog, buddy. I saw it. I Happy was like, birthday for that one. A little bit belated. But... Jeez. I'll tell you what. I've been throwing this stupid spinnerbait all day long. I haven't got a bite. Dude, I got that. That's freaking awesome. That's a hammer. Should we weigh this one? Big. If you go and catch one, that's the, one, be the, that. that's the one. God dang. 
I don't know how easy it would be to wane in these waves. Not good. I feel so good. Finally. Dude, that's a hammer. That was worth the wait. Yeah. Well, finally got the fish I was looking for. One fish today. I'm a little behind the guys, but I think I got the size. That's all that matters right now. Here we go. All right, bud. I'll see you next year. Thanks to Jeremy's expertise, we made it back in safely. We made something out of today. I didn't think it was gonna be fishable, at least not how we caught him yesterday. But as it turned out, we actually got on a pretty good little moving bait bite there. And Matt caught one over five, so uh, that's two days in a row. We got five pounders, but I think today is coming to a close. Um, I'm not mad at it, I think we had a Pretty good first 24 hours here in the Uber boys. I think we did it. Yeah. I feel a little, I'm a little wet. I sat on the side of the boat that was getting all the water. Conveniently, Jeremy was not on that side of the boat, but. I, I took it easy on him, don't you think? Eased it around that corner. It could have been much worse. I can't believe we didn't get completely soaked. I mean, this was a 20 mile boat. Was. Honestly, we would have took several over the nose. Yeah, if we were in the Silver Bullet. Yikes. <laughs> Would have been bad. We're on day three up here in the Uper, and it is time for the big enchilada to come to the plate. These smallmouth are coming into these shallow bays to spawn, but the last two days have been super windy. Strong winds yesterday is an understatement. Even in five, six foot of water, I think we had three foot waves. We couldn't get as shallow as we wanted to where we had found some beds originally because they're just, you know, you get a big three foot wave rolling through three foot of water. Somewhere there's no there's no water and you're gonna set your boat on the ground. So we stayed out a little deeper, fish spinner baits. We poked them in the face a little bit, but today's the day. Today's the day we get 100? Today's the day, like it's big ones on beds. I don't know if we can beat today. This will be, a, this will be one I tell my grandkids about today. To the water, we just sent, we just can't seem to uh, get out to our spot. Um, you know, we came up here. There's perch that we see swimming around the bank, and uh, we're seeing swirls on top of the water. We haven't been able to see any swirls this whole time because it's been so windy. So these fish could be up in here feeding on perch. Um, so we're gonna just take a couple of moving baits, run down the bank, and see if we can get a, a few before we even get out to the big water. Wow. 
Wasn't expecting that. First one of the day. Here we go. Here we go. Back on the program. That's a good one there, bud. It really is. Oh, oh no! <laughs> <laughs> well, it was a four pounder. It was a four pounder. He's got a uh, big old spinner bait in his face now. I apologize to all the PETA people out there. I didn't do it on purpose. It was almost glorious. It's almost glorious. I saw him. I got the best view of him. He just hit the gunnel and the line snapped. That was a nice fish. Uh, there is for I, these fish are feeding, feeding up on these perch that I think have been blown in here from the wind. We had such heavy winds that literally blew tons of bait over in this area. And uh, we haven't seen anything feed on the surface yet. So it's kind of exciting. A couple of bites in here before we even get out to the main waters. Could be setting up to be an epic day. Oh, there we go, there we go, there we go. Oh, big in, oh, big in. Bro, it's a big in there. That's a big one. That is, that's a big one. He do live in here. Oh my gosh, I just now saw this one. You found one. I found one. With my little chatterbait. This one looks like he's like 80. Look at it, he's purple. What the hell, fish. Now that fish looks post spawn though. Yeah. I'm about to get up. Oh, well, you left made me leave all my finesse jigs at home. You just need something moving. First one on the juice. It's a scary sound when you're out here on the Great Lakes. Got ourselves a little custom mod here. I always like to carry some extra skirts, some skirt material for jigs and spinner baits. Got a zinger here. It's a 3 8 ounce. I, I didn't have any halves at the house. I really want to have a half right now. It's wind, but just took a straight up chartreuse skirt and put it on here. There's something about chartreuse, bright colors, pink, whites, chartreuse with small mouth, they really like it. I don't know why, they're just crazy, they're aggressive. So I took off the bluegill color, which is a natural, and um, I just put this chartreuse on. So we're gonna see if we can run this over some beds because right now it's so windy, it's really hard to fill the bites and cast up into these uh, bedding areas. So we're gonna try the spinnerbait program. Let's see if the chartreuse is going to get them. caught them yesterday fishing along the outside edge of these grass lines. We're still getting a few bites, but they're not near as big. But it got hammered. And we were getting three, four, occasionally five footers in this shallow water. So I'm sure they got beat up pretty good yesterday. Oh, that's a bed. There's your one to get on right now. We got a bed fish. Confirmed. In the wind. Take my drop shot here. It's going to be the first drop shot. Confirmed catch of the day off the bed. It's good changing around. Can't 
tail fed some fish down there. Got it. He's off of it. You sure it was this one? 100%. 100%? Yeah, watched him swim off of it and right back on it. Here we go. Confirm. Do you ever doubt me? Confirm, Dandy. Thank you, Jeremy. You're welcome. This is a dandy. Hey, it's a good one. Best one of the day, I think. Absolutely. First drop shot fish of the day. And it's a big one on a bed. Been throwing spinner baits. Oh, wow. Just to get by. So hopefully this wind will calm down and we're gonna see a lot more of what's out here because this is what's out here right now. That's a certified good toad, man. Oh, come here. Just gonna have to get wet. Ah, dude, that is a good one. That's a solid one there. Just had to give him a little dangle. And he wanted it. So Jeremy saw that fish come up and it flashed on a spinnerbait, didn't fully commit, went it right back down to the bed, then I just so happened to have a drop shot rigged up because Matt just broke off, gave me the opportunity to get in there, catch that nice four pound beauty. <sighs> Where are the rest of you? Come on, tell this wind to calm down. Let's get in gear. Let's catch more like you. Bye, sweetheart. We got another one on a bed, and this is a good one. So, in order to give you guys the best look at what's going on down here, because a lot of times in the spring you're fishing around the bank and you're getting bites, you're not even knowing that these fish are on beds. And sometimes the bite can be super subtle. These smallmouth are something special. You can get close to them. So we're gonna try to give you a good showing of what's going on under the water. <laughs> 